today we're going to go through three of our favorite infraspinatus exercises for throwing or overhead athletes. Max Wardell, OverheadAthletics.com, coming at you guys with another video on infraspinatus exercises for overhead athletes. We're actually going to be training the infraspinatus along with the Terry's minor predominantly in this video with three different exercises going from more basic to more advanced. Just to give you a picture of where these muscles are, here's your clavicle in the front, here's your scapula or shoulder blade, and from the back view, the spine of the scapula, here's your humerus, your humeral head in here, and the infraspinatus will lay right here, attaching to the greater tubercle of the humerus, along with the teres minor, who comes from that same infraspinatus fossa, or infraspinous fossa, all the way up to the greater tubercle of the humerus. They're really gonna control where the humeral head sits in the socket, especially as you go into external rotation and internal rotation eccentrically. What that means for you uh, players and coaches out there is you need to get these muscles strong and you need to train them in the way they have to be trained for your sport. So we're gonna go right into the video with one of our basic exercises here. First exercise, easy to do at the field. I'm using a cable column here. You can use a band, TheraBand, um, your Jaeger bands, your Texas Baseball Ranch bands, uh, Oats Specialty, whatever you're using. I'm just going to use the cable column for the purposes of demonstration. Anything works here, cable column, Kaiser machine, anything. You've seen a lot of guys do external rotation where they're just doing this. They're a lot of times strengthening deltoid and other muscles. They're using a lot of compensation to get the job done. I'm going to show you a way right here where you can do it without compensation and try to isolate that infraspinatus and teres minor the best you potentially can. If you're at the field, you don't have anything, push your elbow to the ground, shoulder down and back, kind of pinch into your side with your lat a little bit, and then do it. And you'll find that the exercise is a lot harder. Now, when you do the exercise, you don't want a lot of compensatory motion of your arm. You want to keep it perfect, just like a perfect piston rotating. You can also augment this exercise with a towel roll, put a water bottle under the arm, kind of pinch it down and back, elbow to the floor, so you're depressing the shoulder in the socket, and go right through the same exercise. That's exercise number one. We'll get into a slightly more advanced variation in exercise number two coming up right here. Down on the table for exercise number two here is gonna be a 90-90 external rotation. So. Similar to what we did on the last one, we're trying to make it as specific as possible, moving from more basic to more specific, training the muscle in a progression. So now we're down on our side, 90 degrees at the elbow, around 90 degrees here, maybe a little bit more, so it can be a little bit higher. From here, I'm gonna push the elbow out, so I'm keeping the shoulder down in the socket, and I'm pushing the elbow out, almost like I'm reaching with my shoulder. So. I'm pushing out 90 degrees. I'm going up into external rotation, not letting my arm roll back that way. So it's just like this. All the way up, up, down. You'll find a lot of guys get to about here. They'll start rolling this way to get it to parallel with the ground, or they'll extend their elbow or flex their elbow to try to shorten their lever arm. You want to avoid those compensations and you can also put something under your head, try to relax your neck. That's generally the exercise. Three sets of 10, just like the other one, depending on what your activity level is. If you're after a game, obviously less. We'll go into more advanced variation right here. Back on our feet for exercise number three in this infraspinatus teres minor progression. We're actually gonna go into an athletic stance, a lunge stance, or a split stance. Depending on what your sport is, you're gonna wanna choose something more specific. If you're a pitcher, you're gonna want maybe a wider stance. If you're a catcher, maybe a little bit more narrow. Narrow meaning this, wide as in getting out into that lunge or into that split stance to work on the hamstring flexibility. Choose what you want. Here I can work on hamstring flexibility. Here I can work on maybe quad strength, rear hip flexibility, whatever I'm trying to target. The point of the exercise is the shoulder, but I wanna decrease the stability of my stance. So by being in this unstable or unstable stance, I can make the exercise harder. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do similar to what I did here, except I'm going to come more out to the side. I don't want it all the way out to the side, but I want it a little bit out to the side. I'm here. I can do it at different angles, but what I'm going to do is go into that external rotation. I'm pressing my elbow out towards you guys at home with the camera right there. While I do this, keeping my shoulder down, I don't want to see hiking at the bottom or at the top. So the job of the rotator cuff, stabilize and center that humeral head in the socket, but it's also to depress it. I don't want to be doing exercise where I keep it coming up. I can do it right there. I can change the angle so the angle pulls different. It makes it harder at different points of the exercise. Just like the first exercise, you can use a band, you can use a cable comm, Kaiser machine, whatever you want to use. Just make sure the resistance is light so you can perform it properly. It's more important to perform the repetition properly than it is to get a lot of weight and load it up because then you're going to have all sorts of compensation that you don't want and you may be training the exact opposite of what we're looking to train with this exercise, which is stability and control of the humeral head in the socket. So if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. We actually have a free rotator cuff program on our website and an advanced rotator cuff program. It's very cheap. It's about 15 bucks for anyone that's interested. You go right on the website, purchase it, all the videos. There's actually six weeks of programming right on there. We also have full 12 week corrective exercise programs and throwing programs for you throwing athletes that you can go through step by step. Each day is laid out with repetitions, rest, percent exertion, everything. So you can check that out on our website, overheadathletics.com, under products, and you'll come up to all of that stuff. We got return to throw programs, whatever you guys want. We are trying to help you guys and get you guys to stay on the field perform better than you have, and stay out of the doctor's office, out of the therapy clinic. We know how detrimental that an injury can be as athletes who have had injuries here at the Overhead Athletic Institute, and we wanna prevent that. If you guys are interested in that, make sure to check it out. Email us if you have any questions, overheadathletics at gmail.com, and we'll see you at the next video.